We're gonna be letting pork sit out for several days and some might think that's rotten, but this is actually fermentation and it's something that I'm very passionate about, especially when it comes to Lao cuisine because this is a way of preservation that's been used for centuries. So I'm really excited to show you all how to make a really delicious dish that includes fermenting pork. Some people call this mu som and I've also heard it called som mu don. So som mu don is like pieces of fermented pork. Fermentation may be intimidating, especially when you're working with raw meat, but I hope by the end of this video, you'll feel confident in making your own mu som. And so let's go ahead and get started and show you all what we're working with. So the first thing is the pork belly. So this is three pounds of pork belly. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All the skin on there. Oh wow. So essentially, if you don't know what pork belly is, pork belly is really thick bacon. That's right, kids. We are eating thick bacon, which who doesn't love? Um, so the first step is grabbing your pork belly. I patted it off dry just a bit. Um, so that you'll notice that the skin is really tough to cut. So I like to start on um, the meat side. And so what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. You wanna cut all your pork belly into this size. Put it all in a large bowl. We have a very important seasoning, which is salt. And you wanna make sure it's not iodized because that salt's not gonna work. It's, um, I'm using kosher salt today, which is fine when it comes to fermentation. And then it's a little bit of sugar. You're gonna get in there and make sure that all the pieces of pork belly is covered with the salt and sugar. So I have my pork belly. I'm just gonna let this sit in the salt and put it to the side. We're gonna be using a lot of garlic to help ferment. So I have about a third of a pound of garlic. And I like using a mortar and pestle because it really helps it get into a paste. So the garlic is ground into a paste. And now I'm gonna grab my pork belly, add all that ground garlic in there. So I already have cooked sticky rice that I took from the dip cow and then I soaked it in some water to loosen it up. And I'm gonna also add that as well. This is about a third of a cup. You don't wanna use too much. And lastly, just go ahead and add some black pepper in there. And now you wanna give it a good massage. All these components are gonna help the pork ferment and also prevent different bacteria and things that we don't want in our fermentation, right? All right, so let's put the pork belly in our container. And I just like lining them up into rows like this. So I'm gonna gently press this down. And now with some saran wrap, go ahead and put it over the top, press it down so there's no pockets of air. And then you can go ahead and put a lid on top. Once you have it like this, I like to have an extra protection of plastic. So with a Ziploc bag, all you're gonna do is put it in here. And there might be some juices leaking out, so that's why you have this extra Ziploc. Take all the air out. And then last step is to put it in a big pot like this. And so it's gonna ferment in the dark. And again, this is gonna take about four days play around with it. If you want it more sour, do it longer than four days. So we'll check back in after four days. The pork belly has finished fermenting. And so this was about three days. Let's go ahead and open it. Ooh, it's juicy in there. So that's a good sign. Let's open this up and see what happened. Ooh, ooh, smell it. Ooh, it smells, it smells good. It's like garlicky, sour, that's what you want. So let's go ahead and take it out of here. And if there's too much rice, then go ahead and just scrape it off carefully like this. Looks beautiful, it fermented really well. And if you feel the, the meat, it's actually firm and that's a good sign that it has fermented and hasn't spoiled. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven for 400 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. You wanna check on it halfway through. Right. 
It is done and it looks crispy and I'm really excited to eat it. It smells really good in here. Hey, right, let's grab some of them. Wow. Oh yeah. That natural sour from the fermentation and the garlic. The next step is just to cut these into bite-sized pieces. I think that should be enough for the recipe. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna do a very delicious stir fry with a soured pork belly. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and add some oil and then turn it right on, on high. Okay, when you're working with a wok, you kind of want to work fast, so have everything prepped right in front of you would be ideal. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some ginger to flavor the oil, and then also some minced garlic. All right, so now let's toss in our vegetables. So we're adding some red and green bell pepper. And then a lots of delicious mushrooms. All right, let's add the pork belly. Now our sauces, so some dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and some sugar to offset all that saltiness. This looks absolutely delicious. Wow, that looks so good. Before I forget, you also should top it with some freshly fried shallots. Let's, let's give this a try. Bon appetit. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this hits the spot. And that is how you make Lao style fermented pork belly stir fry. It is a unique dish, so delicious, takes several days, but it is well worth the wait. So I hope you all give this a try. If you enjoyed this video and recipe, please like, share, and comment. And let me know what other recipes you all are interested in me making. Comment that below. And I'll see you all next time on Sang's Kitchen. All right, bye.